Good day folks, I hope you are doing well. In today's video, we're gonna review this chunky display tablet from XP Pen. XP Pen has been crushing it lately with their high-end and low-end tablets, and all of their products have been super affordable and reliable. And today's tablet is no different. This huge 22-inch display is the Artist 22 Plus drawing display. At the moment, you can get this big chungus for $439. Although this price is a considerable sum of money, it is very cheap if you factor in the size of the screen. The way XP Pen managed to pull this off is by compromising on some stuff, which we're gonna talk about later in the video, but I'm happy to announce that the one thing they didn't compromise on is the pen. The Artist 22 Plus comes with a last gen X3 stylus from XP Pen, which is able to deliver 16K levels of pressure sensitivity. We will see what that means. But most importantly, XP Pen manages to eliminate the wobbles that plague their stylus for the last couple of years. I can go as far as to say it is on par with other industry standards like Wacom. It also comes with a laminated display, which is always a plus, even though most of the drawing displays coming out lately are laminated. What that means is that the gap between the drawing surface and the glass on top is non-existent. This will eliminate any parallax effect that might happen between the tip of the pen and the screen. Now, let's see what we get in the box. This is a drawing display. If you don't know what that means, it is a monitor that you can draw on. I know it looks chunky, but this is not a standalone computer or tablet. It needs to be plugged to a computer, a desktop, or maybe a laptop to be able to use it. So you can think of it as an extra screen that you can draw on. The exact measurement of the usable screen area is 21.5 inches. Now, you might ask, where did the 0.5 inch go? And for that, I would say, good question. The resolution is Full HD, which means 1920 by 1080 pixels. And with that screen size, you may notice some pixelation, especially at first, because you're hovering right over the screen. But after a while, I think you won't notice it at all, so it is not that big of a deal. Also, the display has a built-in stand that is permanently attached to the display, and I guess that's what built-in means. It has a range from 15 degrees to 88 degrees of tilt. The stand is very sturdy and can be adjusted easily by using this lever thingy at the top. Just squeeze at the top and move up and down as you please. So that's just the display. In the box, there are also other cables that you will need to hook your tablet to the computer as well as the power outlet. There is an HDMI and USB Type-C cable in addition to the power adapter cord. On a side note, XP Pen discontinued the 3-in-1 cord, so if you don't have a USB Type-C port in the computer, you might want to get a USB Type-C adapter to use along with it. But if you have the USB Type-C port, all you need is to plug the one cord as well as the power outlet to start using it because this thing takes a lot of power. Also, we have a pair of drawing gloves, a couple of nibs, and that's about it. Actually, it is interesting to think about what XP Pen did not include in the box this time, like the wireless remote with all the shortcuts that you can use in conjunction with the tablet. The remote is not included either. Another missing thing is the pen case. Most XP Pen products nowadays are shipped with a sleek pen case where it holds the pen itself, in addition to the extra nibs and nib remover, etc. And while all this stuff are included here, they are just sitting there in the package. Now, do you really need those? Honestly, you probably don't. What they include, however, is this pen clip that can attach to the top of the tablet to hold your pen. Now, for the pen, it is the X3 Pro Smart Chip Stylus, with industry-first 16K pressure levels. But what does that mean on paper, or on tablet I should say? It actually doesn't mean much. It just means it is a great pen. Don't get me wrong though. But I'll be hard-pressed if you can tell the difference. 16K levels of pressure is a big number. And I think above a certain point, you won't notice that much of a difference. But overall, it is a great pen, and it is very comfy to draw with. It sits comfortably in the hand. Couple that with the itch screen, 
and you got yourself a really great combo. I might not be able to convey this through the screen, but it is very satisfying to draw on this display, and the teeth on the screen make you feel like you are drawing on paper, not quite, but close enough. And for even more grip, you can use some of the included felt nibs in the box. The wobble is also a big thing. The strokes are very smooth, even with no smoothing at all. Also, there is no fish hooking. It is consistent. The pressure curve is really good. Just what you want to see from a top-of-the-line stylus. Now, the tablet also comes with the XP Pen software or driver, which allows you to adjust some of the display settings, most notably the work area and the pen settings. It allows you to play with the pressure curve of the pen, whether you want to leave a harder touch, a softer touch, or anything else in between. You can also go in and see a preview of exactly how many levels of pressure you are exerting on the pen. And one might ask, I'm not a 2D artist, but I want to know whether it deals with 3D sculpting and texturing. And I would say this tablet is perfect for 3D work. It works well with all 3D software, and having all that screen real estate makes for a very pleasant sculpting experience. If you want to get serious about your work, this is the best 22-inch display in this price range right now. So, this was the XP Pen 22 Plus, which is a very solid tablet, and the price tag makes it even better and an easy choice for any artist. Sure, it's missing some specific high-end features, but in my opinion, it didn't compromise on the essentials, which really matters. So if you are interested, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.